You know, the earth might be big, but in the grand scheme of things, we are just a speck. Most of us would know that our earth is part of the solar system. What is the solar system? The solar system is a gravitationally bound system of the sun, our star, and the objects that orbit it. There are eight planets and five dwarf planets. The order of the planets from closest to the sun to farthest is thus. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto, which used to be on the list, has been downgraded to a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, as of August 2006. It's hard to remember, so just remember this memory trick. My very educated mother just served us noodles. They translate to the planets in order. Now, at this time, we are pretty sure that the sun is in the center of our solar system and the other planets and objects orbit around it thanks to all of the scientific discoveries and progress. There used to be a time in the not too distant past where not everybody was so sure. Our solar system is located in our galaxy, the Milky Way, specifically in the Orion Arm, 26,000 light years away from the galactic center of the galaxy. The solar system is supposed to have formed 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of a giant interstellar molecular cloud. The diameter of our system is 287.46 billion kilometers. About 99.86% of the system's mass is in the sun, but the majority of the remaining mass contained in Jupiter, the largest planet. The four smaller inner planets, which are closer to the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are terrestrial planets. Terrestrial planets are Earth-like, which makes sense because terrestrial is derived from the Latin word terra, meaning Earth. Common characteristics are the primary composition of the planets being rock and metal, having a similar structure, with a central metallic core and a surrounding silicate structure. They have few or no moons. For example, Venus and Mercury have no moons while Earth has one, the Moon, and Mars has Phobos and Deimos, two satellites. They also do not have planetary ring systems, unlike the gas giants. The main asteroid belt, a disk of asteroids and planetoids, separate Mars from Jupiter, or the inner terrestrial planets from the outer Jovian planets. The four outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are huge planets, being substantially more larger than the terrestrials. Jupiter and Saturn are gas giants, predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, the two lightest elements. Uranus and Neptune are ice giants and contain rock, ice, water, methane, and ammonia. Outside of the gas giants, you have the Kuiper Belt named after astronomer Gerard Kuiper, who speculated about objects beyond Pluto in a 1951 scientific paper. It is a flat ring of icy small bodies that revolve around the sun beyond the orbit of the planet Neptune. Wonder, what is beyond that? What lies past the sun, the planets and asteroids and beyond our solar system. At this time, we believe that the answer to that question is exoplanets, black holes, interstellar space, and other galaxies, and more.
some of our spacecrafts, like the Voyager 2, has gone well past the boundaries of our solar system into the vast unknown. As technology innovates and improves, and we can peer deeper and farther and decipher shape, contents, mass, composition, and such, we'll keep adjusting our understanding and redrawing the painting of existence. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe!